Uh, and yeah, you know the deal here. We're starting off spring. Just you know, spring just now officially beginning the last few days. And uh, well, we're gonna have more twists and turns ahead. The storm system that brought us the beneficial rain earlier this week, and as we obviously know, the destructive severe weather across Texas and southern Oklahoma and the southeast still churning this morning. Showers and thunderstorms uh, all the way towards the kind of southeast United States, southeast coast of the United States from the t uh, Florida Panhandle up through Georgia and the Carolinas, and then snow on the backside of that up around the northern Great Lakes. A severe weather threat continues today out ahead of this system from the Ohio area, kind of the Ohio uh, Valley area, and then down into the southeast United States. Once again, a tornado threat in some of these spots uh, with this system for a third straight day. We're on the, obviously the far backside of this system, but it's so expansive and so large that the cloud deck is just really hanging on the backside of it and won't really go away. And still some showers and sprinkles and drizzle out of this cloud deck as well. It's kind of redeveloped over the last hour just on the kind of the southern end, western end of Grand Lake, and then from about Afton down towards Jay, Rose, Chewy, just enough to be kind of an inconvenience. Shouldn't slow things down too much up on the lake for the first day of the Redcrest uh, tournament, but it's not going to be the most pleasant weather. Uh, but that'll improve in the days ahead up on the lake. This morning, again, that area of drizzle and light rain will continue. Eventually, by late morning, a lot of that, I think, will fade away. But then this afternoon, or late in the day, really, uh, towards this evening and then tonight, we'll see redevelopment of sprinkles and very light showers, basically in the same spot where we have them right now. And even Tulsa, we might pick up a light shower late in the day into tonight. And early tomorrow morning, if you're in southeast Kansas, maybe right up kind of on the Oklahoma-Missouri state line, Oklahoma-Kansas state line, you might see a snowflake mixing in early tomorrow morning, but it's not going to be anything significant. The cloud deck, though, pretty evident. You look at Bartlesville, you're seeing more clouds than sun. Looking here from downtown Tulsa, seeing a fair amount of sunshine to start the morning. And you get west of the Tulsa metro, and it's nice and sunny. Uh, and that's how it's going to be, at least for the first half of the day. Here in Tulsa, though, and I think it's more sun this morning and more clouds this afternoon, which will limit the warming trend mostly to the lower 50s here in Tulsa and then a slight chance for a light shower later in the day. Those gusty northwest winds are with us for most of the day. We'll roll you through the next several days to get you some of the good news by the weekend. So again, up towards uh, Miami and Grove and Grand Lake, only low to mid 40s today for your temperatures, but in the upper 50s in southeastern Oklahoma where you see more sunshine. You see that cloud deck kind of circles back around again tomorrow morning. Once again, some light showers north and east. We'll start off chilly tomorrow afternoon. Similar story, chillier to the north and east east, warmer to the south and west. By Friday, that cloud deck finally finally moves away. It'll be chilly Friday morning, but Friday afternoon is going to be a nice reward for what's ended up being overall pretty chilly week. Looks like highs back in the upper 60s, maybe even some low 70s in southeastern Oklahoma. Saturday, another little system swings through. Might provide a few light showers, but overall, temperatures look like on Saturday they're still going to stay pretty pleasant. So just a couple more uh, chilly days to get through. One more blustery day. Winds, thankfully, will start to let up a little bit tomorrow, but it'll still be a bit breezy on Thursday. Friday looks gorgeous. Saturday looks great. Sunday, warm and kind of windy, but uh, nice warming trend to wrap up the weekend. Low 80s return next week as the wild weather swings continue.